Hello, everyone. My name is Father Dan, and I wish you a blessed and healthy Holy Week. Coming to you from St. Fidelis Parish, part of the Butler area grouping of parishes. And some of you, if you're honest, might say, Father Dan, how can it be a blessed Holy Week? We never had anything like this before with a global pandemic, with fear and anxiety, with isolation, with being alone and depressed and angry, anxious, and afraid. There's just so many emotions where our hearts are, and we can't even go to church. How can it be a blessed Holy Week? And I encourage us, let's let God come into the mess. Because that first Holy Week, do you think that it was without its mess? Do you think it was without its fear and anxiety? Look at the apostles running away, trying to keep themselves safe from something they thought would bring them to death, acknowledging the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Look at Peter getting angry, and maybe a little frustrated, maybe even a little rebellious, cutting off the high priest's servant's ear. Look at Mary and John, not feeling the greatest either. Mary, her own heart, a sword pierced, but yet she stayed with Jesus and drew near to him in the difficulty, seeing her very own son die on the cross in front of her. Your own heart, a sword shall pierce. Yes, I want to encourage each and every one of us in this time like never before, to draw near to a character that you can resonate with in the story. And that each and every character in some way encounters Jesus, and ultimately Jesus leads us to the cross, where he takes the sin and the burden of this world, and he gives it all for us. And a worldwide offering, an embrace of love, so that his offering to the Father might atone for all of our sins, that his death brings us life. The cross, not just an instrument of torture, but the new tree of life. Each and every one of us has our crosses. Whatever those feelings you're feeling, maybe I mentioned them, maybe it's something else. But yet, we don't feel right. Let's unite our cross with the cross of the Lord. And as we journey with these different characters, may we come to encounter the cross of Jesus Christ, which is the true foundation a stone that will never move, that will never be shaken. Looking around at a world where many sands are shifting and things we once thought secure that would never move, we know that there's only one place we can rely on, and that's Jesus Christ, that cornerstone that will never move, that will never be shaken. And his cross is also the tree of life, that transformative thing that we can unite our crosses with during this Holy Week and be transformed like never before. And so... In a time like never before, let us journey to Christ in a way like never before, uniting maybe the difficult, icky parts of our hearts to the Lord. And as we do, may we hear his still small voice saying that I love you, saying, trust me, saying, I will never or abandon or forsake you, my child, because I love you so very much. If we do, maybe we'll find in this very odd and weird time in our world, this Holy Week could be like never before. And the transformation as we move from Christ to his cross, to his resurrection. May we be transformed like never before. To bring that peace, that love, and that joy, not just to ourselves and to our family, but to a world who's so desperate right now. For the truth, the hope, and the joy of the gospel. May God bless you.